Hey, maybe Jurassic World is more than just a sci-fi movie. It's possible that dinosaurs are out there, walking, swimming, or even flying. But not on Earth. Some scientists speculate that significantly altered T-Rex and other dinosaurs may exist on worlds that are quite far away from our solar system. The fact that the oxygen content of our planet was around 30% higher in the past than it is now gave them the notion. That explains how sophisticated and sentient organisms like dinosaurs were able to arise in the first place. They also wish to investigate the fundamental components that support life as we know it on Earth. We refer to these building blocks as amino acids. They produce carbohydrates, proteins, and DNA and RNA, the genetic material. They mostly exist in one shape or orientation and are consistent. They can be positioned in both left and right directions, meaning that they mirror each other in the same way as our hands. We refer to this as chirality. Proteins can only have one form, which allows them to be oriented either left or right in order for life to exist. Nearly every living species on Earth, including whales and elephants, has left-handed amino acids, ranging from tiny insects. Although the specific reason for the arrangement is unknown, there is a theory that suggests it has to do with meteorites that collided with Earth 4 billion years ago. They introduced some types of amino acids and other organic compounds to Earth, which inadvertently established the current pattern. Perhaps we could utilize the custom telescopes we built to explore worlds, particularly ones where environmental circumstances are similar to those that existed on Earth during the time of the dinosaurs. Under such circumstances, it would be safer to watch them from a distance, according to researchers, given their potential appearance. Though it's still incredibly difficult, it's a cool notion. Numerous catastrophic occurrences and mass extinctions occurred throughout the history of life on Earth, particularly in the case of dinosaurs. There's always more space for fresh dinosaur speculations. One of them makes an intriguing but untrue claim that oil originated from dinosaurs. Millions of years ago, flora and sea animals left behind remnants that eventually turned into oil. This was far before the emergence of dinosaurs. Little creatures found their way to the ocean floor as a result of microorganisms breaking down vegetation and animals. They took off a few other elements and the majority of oxygen. All that was left behind was a sludge, primarily composed of carbon and hydrogen. Many layers of silt and sand accumulated over time to obscure those remnants. Heat and pressure converted the silt's remnants into natural gas and crude oil when the sediment reached a depth of 10,000 feet or more. Although the possibility exists that dinosaurs lived or fell into the ocean and subsequently transformed into petroleum in a similar way, this notion remains unsubstantiated as no fossilized dinosaur skeletons have yet been discovered. Then there's the feathered dinosaur theory, which appears to have more evidence in actuality than the preceding theory did. In 2010, scientists discovered proof that a dinosaur species with ginger feathers existed 100 million years ago. There was a separate species of dinosaur 150 million years ago, according to another group of experts. Those dinosaurs had reddish-brown feathers on top of their heads and freckles. It's likely that the color patterns served a purpose such as attracting mates or serving as a means of communication with other members of the species. Years later, however, researchers looked into the Microraptor, also referred to as a feathered dinosaur. It dawned on them that it had likely resembled a bird rather than a dinosaur. The way birds replace their feathers is crucial information. Flying birds will not be able to fly very well if their feathers are not replaced in a certain order. Furthermore, the feather changes of this organism match the pattern found in the bones of the Microraptor. Therefore, it's unclear to them which category this animal belongs to. Feathered dinosaurs shed a great deal of skin, little by bit, much like dandruff does. Bob, you seem a little flimsy there. Do you need to get a new shampoo? Indeed, unlike lizards who shed their skins like an old suit, they did not do so. When people think of dinosaurs, we typically imagine solitary animals more akin to reptiles than social beings. In the Gobi Desert, however, some researchers found a collection of clutches that date back 80 million years. It indicates that, like bird colonies, there once existed dinosaur colonies that watched over their young and defended their nests. That's also what crocodiles are known to do. Dinosaurs with narrow backs were called pelosaurs, and pterosaurs were flying dinosaurs. According to certain research, these two species entice possible mates with their oversized head crests and sails or fins. 
However, there are other ideas regarding their crests and their intended uses. While some experts think dinosaurs needed a crest to help them navigate through the air, others think that that's how they maintain their body temperature. Since they don't have living offspring and their fossils are scarce, it's difficult to make any firm conclusions. However, the most plausible explanation is that the crest was employed for mate selection, much like a peacock's tail. A pterosaur had a better chance of finding a mate the larger its crest was. You know, theropods, the terrifying carnivorous beasts seen in most dinosaur films. It's possible that they preferred eating plants over tearing apart meat. Perhaps many of them weren't as tough as we might believe, but not all of them. Large, terrifying animals like T-Rex might be the exception rather than the rule. The problem is that these creatures are portrayed in films as being far faster than they actually were. They were presumably able to outrun the typical human runner by a small margin. Researchers examined the diet of Celiarosaur for direct proof and made sure the animals had no food in their bellies. They realized these guys had mostly eaten vegetarian food after finding specific items, such as a beak devoid of teeth. Even some well-known ones, like Velociraptors, might just be harmless plant eaters rather than the frightening dinosaurs from our childhood nightmares from Jurassic Park. Scientists discovered the fossils of a tiny dinosaur more than 10 years ago. It was a long-legged creature about the size of a parrot. Its ancestors included some of the most well-known carnivores in history, including the Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus rex. The majority of terrestrial dinosaurs had five fingers, but some eventually lost some of them. This new one they found was unique in the way that it had one finger with a sharp curled nail at the end of each front leg, as opposed to the more typical three fingers for its family. This thing most likely dug into insect nests with its one finger so it could feed. Despite the fact that the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs is well known, some people have different ideas. One paleontologist even advanced the hypothesis that dinosaurs may have died out because they were consuming one another. This was especially effective for the progenitors of ferocious, terrifying predators like Tyrannosaurus. It's likely that they consumed so many other dinosaur eggs that a large number of species simply vanished. No dinosaur mother could stop them from eating her eggs because she couldn't be around all the time. And as they started eating the eggs of really enormous dinosaurs that we know as sauropods, it's probable they started getting bigger too. Other large predators, including the earliest mammals, consumed eggs. Nevertheless, further studies have demonstrated that dinosaurs could not have consumed enough eggs to trigger a global extinction.